Hi, I'm Gemma Bassoni, and I'm the CEO of Discover Labs. Discover Labs is my main professional thing right now, and it has been for the last five years. And really where that came from was go for the things you're passionate about. There are ways that you can be successful. I know that I wanted to work in education and accessibility, and I also knew that I wanted to work in video games, and I didn't want to have to pick between those. So <laughs> you make them happen. <laughs> Java is one of the most popular programming languages used today. It was first released in 1995 and designed to allow software engineers to write programs that they could easily run anywhere. We use apps and programs that were written in Java every day, like the Android operating system and Spotify. Even games like Minecraft are written in Java. Scientists also use Java programs, like the NASA WorldWind system that uses satellites to create a 3D interactive virtual globe. Java is an object-oriented programming language. Object-oriented programming is an approach to creating and using models of physical or imagined objects. We create models of objects by writing classes. A class is a programmer-defined blueprint from which objects are created. To write a class, we first create a new Java file. We name this file the same name we will use for our class. In this case, our file will be called myfirstclass.java. The name of the file and class should start with an uppercase letter. If the name consists of multiple words, we use camel case. Camel case is a naming convention in which the first letter of the first word is either uppercase or lowercase, and the first letter of each additional word is uppercase. In the file, we start writing the keyword public. Then we write the keyword class. Next, we write the name of the class. This must be the same name as the file. Java is case sensitive, so the uppercase and lowercase letters must match. Finally, we use curly braces to indicate a block of code. Each opening curly brace should have a matching closing curly brace. We make this class public so it can be accessed throughout the program. Usually, we want our classes to be public. This makes up our class header. A class header consists of the class keyword and the name of the class. Congratulations, you've just written your first class. Soon you'll be making classes that can do all kinds of amazing things.